During an exam of linear algebra, you have to answer many questions. True or false? In this video, I will introduce a technique which helps you to find the answer to a question. Let's first introduce the technique itself, which consists of four steps. The first step is knowledge. In this step, you first look carefully at the question and you extract all information and determine the subjects contained in it. Then you add the knowledge you have on these subjects, which includes both definitions and theorems. Then you do the second step, insight. Now it is time for you to link all knowledge you gathered in the previous step to formulate a plan to solve the question. The third step is skill. You execute the plan you designed in the second step. Finally, you perform the final step, solution. This final step consists of writing down your answer to the question, but also all arguments you use to arrive at this answer. Because during an exam, you have to show you understood and are able to use everything you learned during the linear algebra course. To remember these four steps, you can simply remember the first letters of each step, which gives the acronym KISS. Now here is a question. Let us apply this technique to this question. Is the statement on the slide true or false? Let us start with the first step, knowledge. Within this statement, you see the special term eigenvalue. Do you remember the shown theorem and definition? You also see the term geometric multiplicity, for which you should remember the definition and theorem shown. The final term is diagonalizable for which you have seen the shown definition and theorem during the linear algebra course. Now finally, take a look at the information given in the statement. You are given that a is 4 by 4, so n equals 4 in this question, and a has three eigenvalues, which are 3, minus 1 and 5. You even have a little more information on eigenvalue 3, namely that its geometric multiplicity is 2. You can use a table to record this information in a compact manner. Now you have completed the first step, collecting all the knowledge given in the question. You are now ready to show you have insight into the problem by developing a plan to solve the question. The question asks whether the statement is true or false. If the statement is true, then with the given information about the matrix A, you should be able to conclude with complete certainty that A is diagonalizable. If, however, the statement is false, you should be able to think of a matrix A which is not diagonalizable, but has the properties given to you in the statement. If you go back to the knowledge you collected in the first step, you see that A being diagonalizable is the same as having the sum of the geometric multiplicities equal to 4. So if you can show this, you can conclude that A is diagonalizable. If, however, you can find a different sum, you can conclude that A is not diagonalizable, or at least not always. You are missing information about the geometric multiplicities of the eigenvalues minus 1 and 5 to calculate the sum of the geometric multiplicities. So from the knowledge you have, you should be able to derive information on these eigenvalues. Because the algebraic ge and geometric multiplicities of an eigenvalue are related, you can use the algebraic multiplicities to calculate the geometric multiplicities. So now you have a plan of attack. First calculate the algebraic multiplicities, then the geometric multiplicities, and finally the sum of the geometric multiplicities. You have now finished the insight step. Now you can use your skill to execute the plan of attack. Let's start with the eigenvalue 3. The geometric multiplicity of 3 equals 2, so you know for sure that the algebraic multiplicity of 3 is at least 2. The algebraic multiplicity of the other two eigenvalues is at least 1, because otherwise they would not be eigenvalues of A. If you add these algebraic multiplicities together, you have a sum of at least 4. But the characteristic equation of A has exactly four solutions, so this sum must be exactly four. But this means that for each eigenvalue you must take the lowest possible algebraic multiplicity, which gives you the values 2, 1 and 1. 
Now you have found the algebraic multiplicities, you can focus on the geometric multiplicities. Again, only eigenvalue 3 has a known geometric multiplicity. However, as you remember during the first step of gathering knowledge, the geometric multiplicity is always at least one, and always at most the algebraic multiplicity. For the eigenvalue minus one, that means that the geometric multiplicity is at least one and at most one. But this is only possible when it's exactly one. You can use the same arguments to show that the eigenvalue five has also geometric multiplicity one. Now you are ready to enter the final phase of your plan. The sum of the geometric multiplicities is exactly four, so no other option is possible. You have now finished the skill step. Now you can find and formulate the solution to the question, which is the final step. Because the sum of the geometric multiplicities is four, the matrix A is diagonalizable. So the statement is true. How should you write down your answer during the exam? Well, let me show you. You can use your plan of attack to find the correct order of the arguments to support your final answer. The arguments are, the given geometric multiplicity of eigenvalue 3 implies an algebraic multiplicity of at least 2. The algebraic multiplicity of at least 2 for eigenvalue 3 implies an algebraic multiplicity of 1 for both other eigenvalues and 2 for eigenvalue 3. The algebraic multiplicities of 1 for eigenvalues minus 1 and 5 imply a geometric multiplicity of 1 for both eigenvalues. The sum of the geometric multiplicities equals 4, so A is diagonalizable. Because A is diagonalizable, the statement is true. No, you now have seen a simple technique with the acronym KISS, which helps you solve questions in a structural matter. Take this technique for a test drive when you are studying for your exam.